Have you heard of something called the FIRE movement? Do you subscribe to it? Or are you actually able to live it? It's a really interesting idea, but I think instead I subscribe to a different iteration of the FIRE acronym, Financially Independent and Reimagining Everything. So as we've just celebrated the 4th of July and our country's independence, join me as I discuss what this means and how I recommend altering your mindset to more quickly get to a life where you have more freedom and possibly more happiness. Welcome to Life Reimagined with Wendy. I believe we were fortunate to grow up in a unique time in our culture that is helping shape our lives over the age of 45. We are redefining what our lives are like today and pushing the boundaries of what a 45-year-old, a 50-year-old, a 65-year-old, or years young and true adventurer really looks like. Many of us are newly blazing trails and carving out our own purpose-driven path forward. Yep, there have been many unexpected road twists that helped you get here today, but many times these turn out to be blessings. They help you more clearly define what you want. So join me for insights and interviews that show you can face these unexpected challenges and you can come out on the other side stronger and happier. You can make your best days ahead and you can reimagine your next. So what is this new fangledy fire movement anyways? Well, uh, so today I'm going to describe the original movement, what I think those of us over 45 should consider instead, and how to actually walk the talk and still progress towards your personal goals. Hopefully at this stage in our lives, you've been saving and working towards an eventual retirement. You know, as we grew up, we learned the virtue of hard work and saving from our grandparents and parents. And my hope is that you've been able to set aside a little bit of money uh, and invest, hopefully, for some time in the future when you're not working. Now, we're also fortunate enough, we'll say fortunate enough, to be sandwiched between baby boomers and the millennials and from even a more younger cohort. And they remind us to look after ourselves and live a bit more along the way. So we've got the baby boomers telling us to save and our parents telling us to make sure that we're uh, building our nest egg. But we also have our younger uh, colleagues and family members who are reminding us to get out there and live a little bit. So now there's a more radical uh, philosophical approach that some millennials or the younger folks are considering in living out. And it's called the FIRE movement. It stands for Financially Independent Retire Early, and it's pretty extreme. So from what I can understand, the folks who choose to head down this path pretty much give up all unnecessary spending in order to save every penny possible, invest well, and hopefully only work for 15 to 20 years and retire in your 40s instead of waiting till you're 65. At first glance, it sounds really great, right? Retire from the work grind, travel, spend the second half of your life, way more fun. So it's way more than our parents and grandparents would have been able to do. But it only starts, sorry, it, it's only when you actually start to dig in that the details become more significantly less appealing. So never stopping ever for coffee for work, no dining out ever. They're paying for fun eccentricities like cable television, seeing an occasional movie, whether at home or heaven forbid at an actual cinema that you pay like 12 to $18 per person. So you pretty much spend all of your young years working and staying in to avoid spending money. So it sounds less appealing to me now. And since I actually didn't live that lifestyle in my 20s and 30s and even 40s, and I did spend money on coffee, cable, movie travel, uh, movies and travel, uh, I'm way past the ability to hop in and join the original fire movement. So what I think those of us over 45 should consider, and again, as we're constantly learning from those before us and those following up behind us, so what I think we should consider instead is a different iteration of FIRE. And let's call it financially independent, reimagining everything. I do know I don't want to work for someone else until I'm 67 and then take retirement, hoping that my health and financial investments allow me to enjoy my sunset years. Nope, not happening. 
So first I plan to live a long life and make daily personal health choices towards such my plan. So living until hopefully my late 90s, maybe even crossing over into the 100-year-old line could still happen, and that would be a long sunset. Also, I've been saving and investing and now wish I had been even more frugal and investment focused in my 20s and 30s. I now have to make sure that the retirement savings I have and investments currently growing last me if I get to that 90 or 100 year mark a long, long, long time. And finally, I don't want to live right now at the expense of saving to do it all when I'm 20 years older. What if I continue putting my head down and focus on work, folk, folk, you know, work, work grind, and then something happens and I never get the chance to play and get out and see what I want. In one of my previous episodes, I just spoke about a friend who passed away unexpectedly and he still hadn't retired yet. And so he didn't get to get out and travel and make sure the nest egg that he built, he was able to enjoy. So I still want to get out and travel and ensure that I'm creating that I life I'm creating a life I want today, but also still planning and preparing for a life I want tomorrow. So now I subscribe to my new version of FIRE, financially independent and reimagining everything. I know that with my dog Dharma here, I know that who has to visit when I'm on camera, right? I know that Financial security allows me for more independence and more freedom to consider more choices and possibly create a better life path. I have been actively planning so my money actually works for me. I don't have to either be physically sitting at a desk or checked in to work for somebody else to increase my financial position. I've been able to focus on my savings and investing with people who can advise me and believe me are way smarter than me when it comes to financial investment. So hopefully each day my money is working for me and growing to make a better tomorrow. I believe that optimizing your financial health really opens many doors. It provides you with a better future, uh, better future healthcare options. It could provide you the opportunity to move to a geography of your choosing that allows you to spend more time with either your grandkids, maybe you don't have them yet, but they may be coming, or more time on a beach, more time on a mountain, more time doing whatever it is you want. Because I believe investing in your financial health gives you the freedom to take risks in the future and the future that you may not even be able to see yet. So talking about it is one thing, but how do you actually walk the talk and still progress towards your personal goals? What's it feel like to subscribe to and actually live the lifestyle of financially independent reimagining everything? Well, it really comes with reevaluating and reprioritizing in your life what's most important to you, stuff or experiences. Okay, that was a slanted question, but true, these little, ex I'm sorry, little expenses, uh, are they worth compromising a present and a future that is more financially secure and freeing? So let's add it up. You have a daily cup of expensive coffee, let's say $3 a day, five days a week, 52 weeks. Just $780. You have a fitness center membership you haven't used in a few months, $30 a month times 12 months, $360. Or you dine out once a week just by yourself, uh, $30, and not even every week, but 50 weeks at $1,500. So adding these three items up alone is $2,540, so $2,540 per year. Over 10 years, that's $25,000 before you even invest it. So if you invest that, that money along the way, it's growing for you. Buying a car is another great example. Salespeople talk about low monthly payment because it's easier for us to digest and take on. But what happens if you lose that job or COVID-19 displaces your income for four months? What if even in the situation where you have to buy a car, right? You need some type of transportation. You choose a nice one instead of one with less bells and whistles for 20 grand instead of the new souped up version for 37 grand. Regardless of the monthly payments, that frees up $17,000 for you to invest and grow and actually work for you instead of draining monthly from your pocket. It may also serve 
to keep you financially bound to a job that you don't like if you have all these expenses to make sure that you're covering. So personally, I significantly reduced a lot of unnecessary expenses. I mean, you know, at this age, come on, I have enough clothes, I have enough jewelry, I have enough stuff. There really isn't much I truly need to buy. In fact, I've really evolved my thinking over the past few years, and now I'm at the stage where I really want to declutter, get rid of anything that I haven't used, or that's not of need or value. I don't want an attic full of stuff that ties me to a physical location. And I find that I really need much less than what I previously thought. And it does take an active, it's conscious, and it will take planning on your part. You know, I pay for the lowest level of cable and internet access. I don't stay in five-star hotels when I travel. I bring my food almost everywhere possible in a cooler because that allows me not only to make sure that I'm eating better, I don't have to eat unhealthy crap at a fast food restaurant when I'm not home, and it saves me significant money. I have a glass of wine or prepare my cocktail at home, which is only like two to three dollars a glass versus 10 to 20 dollars a glass. Someone in my Facebook challenge just commented that they gave up alcohol and it should save them a lot of money, laugh out loud. But really what's important to me now is not seeing the latest movie when it comes out or getting the trendiest new clothing item. Instead, I make daily spending choices to support my goals of living longer, healthier, and with experiences with family and friends instead of stuff. I listen to experts like Susie Orman and Dave Ramsey, and I have a financial advisor who keeps up on all the data and all the trends so I don't have to. I look at this as investing my time in me and my financial health now and going forward. So this is just yet one more way that I'm actively planning and creating the life I want today and tomorrow and giving myself opportunities for more freedoms. And honestly, most of this doesn't feel like a sacrifice, but instead changing my habits a bit and putting more time into planning. And I do splurge every once in a while and that's fine, but never to the point where I allow it to derail what I want and my timelines to achieve because that is what is my priority. So I hope you lean in more with me and our Destination You community. You can find additional recommendations to improve your financial health in my Destination Unknown book and at the website destination-u.net with free resources to help you create your plan. I have a free downloadable uh, resource to help you, again, spend a little time creating the steps to achieving it. And I invite you to join and tackle our free weekly personal challenges in our Facebook group and get inspired to get out there and play more and leverage this financial freedom, finding yourself through more adventure in my Instagram posts. Because my goal is to provide real life guidance and resources to help you create the steps to make your next chapter, especially for those of us over 45, to make your next chapter your best. So remember to spend a bit of time today investing in what you want and what you deem important. Soon you'll find these decisions, no matter how small they may feel now, are either working towards your vision or away from your vision. It's up to you. Thanks again for listening. And remember to get over yourself, get out there, invest in yourself, and you'll more quickly get to your next.